What's up, Marvel Cinematic Universe lovers? Uh, this is Apocalyx Movies, and we're doing something a little out of the ordinary this time. We are reviewing a TV show, and that TV show is the recently released Jessica Jones. And for those of you who don't know, um, you might have seen Jessica Jones on Netflix, and it says Marvel's Jessica Jones. Jessica Jones is a Marvel character. She's Her show takes place in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. It, it takes place in the same city as Daredevil, Hell's Kitchen. And so technically this does connect to movies in a certain way. So it still applies as a movie discussion, but we're all huge fans of these uh, Marvel Netflix shows that they're doing. So we decided to do a spoilers review on Jessica Jones and us Apocalypse Movies regulars. We finally all three finished it. So we're gonna go ahead and review it. I'm your host, Jacob Bartley, and I'm back again with Jake Berlin and Gio Ramos. What's up, guys? Doing good. Excited to talk a little Jessica Jones. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm looking, doing, for, looking forward to it, you know, uh, especially after Daredevil. So, yeah. Daredevil. So, how long? I just finished Jessica Jones yesterday morning. I mean, I, with work and everything, I didn't have time to just sit and watch it all the way through. But how long did it take you to watch it, Jake? I finished it Sunday night. Yeah. So, what? So, <laughs> I you binged, started it Friday? I started it Friday. Possibly even Thursday if it came out on Thursday. I don't know if it came out on Thursday. No, or Friday. It was, uh, Friday. Friday. It was Friday. Okay, so I watched. Yeah, I watched it Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Yeah, because I had well, absolutely I mean, nothing to do. Yeah. Well, we don't like if if that's all we had to do. I'm sure we could have finished it in one day. But with that's other hard, things going man. on in our life, yeah. we all finished it in a week, which is pretty remarkable. Um, so, Gio, when did you finish it? Uh, Monday morning around like 4 a.m. Jesus. I stayed up and watched like nine, nine episodes. Everything you do is at 4 a.m. <laughs> Everything you do. It's like, yeah, if you guys are awake at that, uh, that time of the day, just look out for Gio's articles. They're always exactly. released early in, in the, the morning. middle of the night, you know, <laughs> 2 people in Japan are like waking up and reading his articles. <laughs> um, so yeah, Jessica Jones. This is Marvel and Netflix's second series together. They did Daredevil, which was great and received great critically and by fans. So this is their second go round, and it's a very, very different show than Daredevil. Very different than anything Marvel has done up to this point. Or Netflix. Or Netflix, and it's very unique just as a show in general. Like, even if this show wasn't Marvel, it was, it was just a random original idea that came out, I think it would be great. And, uh, well, that kind of gives away what I think of it. I, let's go around, we'll just give our initial thoughts on the show, like, if you were talking to a friend and telling them about Jessica Jones without giving away spoilers, what would you say to them? Uh, this ain't just a good Marvel show. This is one of Netflix's best. And Netflix has some really incredible shows. You know, House of Cards. Uh, Peaky Blinders. Peaky Blinders is uh, great. Nancy and Grace. Narcos, Orange is the New Black. Narcos. Orange is the New yeah. Black. Narcos. Yeah. Yeah. They've done a lot of great things. This is one of Netflix's best shows. Like I was hooked since the first episode. And wow, I I'm could, actually surprised. Yeah, I, I could, could not stop watching. We that. haven't. None of us have talked about it yet, so we have no idea what each other thinks. Really. Right. Yeah. So I mean, I was very hooked. Uh, it's addicting. It's interesting. You know, there's a lots of a. Uh, it's. It's what Marvel does best. They put their second, they put their superhero elements secondary and make the focus like exactly. drama. Exactly. Or, yeah. So incredible. Jake. Yeah, uh, I'll back what he said. I mean, it's a it's a dark, gritty, grounded superhero show. Um, it it's exactly what Netflix uh, intended for the show and what Marvel wanted from the show. Uh, I don't think this they could have done this on the big screen. It, oh no! It worked so much better yeah. as a Netflix show. It would have been rated R, and it wouldn't have made that much money. And they, you know, it it uh, it like Jacob said, it's a rated R show. It is and, definitely. Um, it works so well. The character, it, it works very well for the character that she is. Um, and I highly recommend watching it for sure. Yeah, I I think it's amazing. I think it's an amazing show, just in general. Not even comic book or anything just it's a great show period well you can't really think of it as a comic i mean it's titled jessica jones and she doesn't have any name or it's yeah. she's jessica jones she's just a person really private investigator yeah. yeah so it's like you can't it's not even really a comic book show well, but technically it is yeah it she's a comic book character it's adapted from comics it's a comic book show but i know what you're saying though it's it's more like a it's like a type of like a csi or like like uh law and order svu type show mm -hmm. that's what it reminds me of like special victims unit um and yeah i i think it's a great show i think it's it's one of the most unique things marvel's ever done and it's a show that 
if you even if you're not a fan of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, you're not you know go, looking forward to the mo- every single movie that comes out like we do. I think though people that aren't as interested will still enjoy this show. Yeah, this ain't a fun blockbuster action spectacle explosions kind of thing. This is a really like deep character study. Yeah, it's and that and like that's the greatest thing about it. It it puts characters first. So I so with that, you know what we initially think of it. So now we're gonna talk about our positives and our negatives, and and uh, just talk about you know little Easter eggs and spoilers and what we think uh, its plans are for connecting to the other Netflix shows in the Marvel universe. So from this point on, it's gonna be spoilers. So if you haven't watched the show, I recommend not listening to this right now. Finish the show and then come back and watch it because we can start off with the end scene right from the get-go like we're gonna get all into spoilers so uh let's start with you jake um just in like in detail what did you like about this show why like why did it keep you interested well i think the biggest thing for me is that uh they didn't focus on the marvel or superhero brand yeah they focused a lot more on the character and story like like you guys said it was a character and story study um which worked so well it's something that we saw with daredevil um it just it's very interesting and it's it's serious and it kind of just pulls you in from the get-go and there's all these characters and you want to see where they go and it teases you with so much stuff and uh from the first episode on it just kind of keeps building and building and building in the right direction it never really took a crazy turn or a wrong turn um it all kind of went uh the way it was supposed to and which made it that much more exciting i mean we watched it in three days or whatever, so thirteen episodes. So it this show is addicting. By yeah, the way. so it's addicting. Um, you just kind of want you want to see after every, after each episode ends, you just kind of want to see what comes next. Um, and you know, uh, the characters are really good. I think Jessica Jones is a, a fabulous character, and I, I really enjoy like where they picked up to. She had already been a superhero. She had failed. Yeah, at it being wasn't a an origin story. That's no, she well, it kind of almost was. But later on, in a way, yeah, because she tried the hero thing before. It, yeah, it is in its own right. It, it, it has elements of an origin story, but it's not a straight up origin story. No, no, yeah, definitely. And in, it's very cool how they pick up after she had been a superhero, after she had failed, um, and you kind of have to piece all these things together from talking, and then it could kind of you can you see where it's progressing to. And um, I like the relationships that were going on between you know Jessica and her friend Patsy. Uh, who they kind of rekindled after everything and came really close. Um, obviously, the big one is Jessica and Luke Cage. Uh, and I forget the guy's name that played Luke Cage. Um, uh, Mike Coulter. Mike Coulter. Mike Coulter. Yeah, yeah, he uh, he did a fabulous job as a character. He's perfect uh, as Luke Yeah, Cage. he couldn't have... I think there were a few other names that uh, I would have chosen before him, but I think that he fit the role so well. Oh, their chemistry, mm-hmm. their chemistry was really good together. Yeah. Um, yeah. And which was a little bit surprising because I didn't know what I was going to get from it. But uh, well, they're yeah. they're they're involved romantically in the comics, right? They are here and there. Yes. Yeah, they are here and there. Well, Luke Cage ultimately ends up with the She Hulk, but huh. um, that yeah, was they, they they ain't doing that. But uh, so, yeah, yeah, so uh, it worked very well. Um, it was very exciting to see. I didn't know how much he was going to be in the show, but he was a big part of the show throughout the entire series. Oh yeah, so um, very important character. Yeah, uh, so and I loved uh, uh, the lawyer um, played by. Carrie Ann Moss. Carrie Ann Moss, yeah. She's uh, Hogarth. She, Ho, Ho, she's a very interesting character mm-hmm. because she is Iron Fist's uh, lawyer. Oh, really? She is the the his human version. That's his, that's his lawyer. Oh, okay. So she has an interesting future. She, um, that could be the tie into Iron Fist. That, but her character, she took a wild turn here and there. Oh, I was yeah. unexpecting that. Um, so it, it was a very good. Yeah. Uh, not, I don't want to say refreshing, but it was like. It was relieving to well, see. Well, at first you're like, why are they throwing this storyline in there? Like, what does this have to do with anything? And then halfway what through the series, it, it takes that turn and you're you like, guys can talk about it. Like, no, we can, yeah. but we're going to get into it. Um, just, so I, I, I really, I really enjoyed her character. Uh, I love that, you know, a lot of TV shows, um, especially now, there's always these big storylines that are set out for the entire series season, but there are many storylines in between. They were, you know, she had the uh, some some uh, you know jobs to take as a as a PI, but it never shied away from focusing on the Kilgrave storyline. Yeah. It was Everything the center tied part. In, really. It was the it central involved. part of the storyline. It never stepped away from it, and you never lost trust in the show of like 
kind of not letting or giving us something. Well, or, none of the episodes were filler episodes. They, exactly. Every it, all episode had, it all had a point. Story. It all had a point. Yeah. Um, and I'll get to. Uh, I, I do have a negative. I don't want to say it now, but um, I really enjoyed the final episode because of Rosario Dawson coming in from Daredevil. Like that was just kind of like a. Okay, and it's this not is, like. It's not like a huge no, crossover. but it's not like Matt Murdock showing up. You but know, I, for some reason, like I got so giddy and like happy when she's like, I have a friend, I can give him a call. I'm like, Daredevil's a phone call away, like yeah. literally a phone and call I away. I love the way she's like, no, I don't want to get anyone else involved. And you know what they did with that one conversation? They solved the issue of you know how fans, why doesn't Daredevil come help her? That one conversation. But there there's there's go. a the and the nerd part of me wants to see Jessica Jones of fight course, Daredevil. But, dude, they're <laughs> gonna, so cool. you're gonna see it, but I didn't want to see that in this season. Was anybody expecting a Daredevil no, appearance? I was I was. I was I wasn't expecting it because I didn't I wasn't expecting Daredevil, but I was expecting like maybe his best friend lawyer. I think they want these shows to stand on their own first and then they'll do cross. Well now we know that she knows Jessica Jones knows of Daredevil. Knows of someone. Yeah. She doesn't know and who. If she could always go to Night Nurse if she wants to find Daredevil. Well, she's not Night Nurse yet, but you Claire, know what I mean. Yes. Claire, come on. Yes. Um, so I mean, yeah. there are a lot of things to talk about. There are a lot of positives. The show is. It takes like like we say, the Winter Soldier took a very different approach to Marvel movies. This takes Marvel the Marvel brand to a whole different level. Definitely. Like they didn't shy away from the R rating. Uh, they they went full board with it, and it paid off in the long run. I mean, it's a very exciting show. Uh, Netflix and Marvel, man, they got a freaking gold mine with these things. They can take these characters into such great directions, and all these small characters of that Marvel has in their their vault. Netflix is waiting for them, and you know this get two two series down so far, and they're crushing it out of the box. So. Yeah, they're you know they both series. Phenomenal. They're 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 fantastic. I mean, they took a totally different approach, and um, it's just it's really great to see. Yeah, I'm sure you'll. Remember some more positives along the way as we talk, but Gio, let's go to you. What are some of your main positives for Try Jessica to Jones? Try to this down as uh, fast as I can. <laughs> uh, like I said, it's a great character study of Jessica Jones, uh, exploring her past through her present, which is something that we see a lot, especially in Arrow. You yeah, know, how like, he's in his present, but then it flashes back to the past, and yeah. how it that works. moment it connects works with some, most shows. The formula yeah. works here in Jessica Jones, uh, learning more about who she is as each episode goes on and why she's that person. Um, she's unlike any of the established uh, heroes in the MCU, and she makes it clear during a couple episodes where they bring up the Avengers. You know, and she's like, "I'm not like them." You know, the like, green guy and the green guy. And the, that's the, so cool. The flag. Like, like I like, actually say, the, the I love, I love the green guy, but I love the flag man. I thought that was such a oh, funny yeah. like moment. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, um, and she, she, like she, she tries hard not to be a hero. You know, she mentioned it a couple times. She doesn't like being the hero. Like when she helps Malcolm out, she rolls her eyes and she'll turn around and help Malcolm inside his house or yeah. tie him up. You know, he was he was a great character, by the way. That's like, positive. I oh, I, gonna, I forgot about him a little bit, but he was such a a great dynamic to go against her. Mm -hmm. um, and then I the, I didn't obviously, think he was gonna be as big as a character as he became. Obviously, the towards the, the end, he like he's now in this with her as almost That's her one secretary. Of my positives. Yes. Like that is awesome to no. see. So. Uh, well, I might as well say it when she, when he she when he answers her phone <laughs> yeah. and says alias investigations. How can we help you? I like I got so excited because that's hinting towards like season two. He's he's part. I know of they it. made a joke like are we their sidekicks? And he kind of is her sidekick. Well, it's like it's like uh, it's like oh, it's it's night nurse and daredevil. Or, well, night like nurse and daredevil. Foggy and daredevil too. Yeah. In a oh, way, yeah, you know? yeah. 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 So. And speaking of Jessica Jones, how about the casting of Kristen Ritter? Perfect. Like, I, I was going into it with like very low expectations because I only seen her here and there. You know, I don't yeah. know her. And work you didn't too watch well. Breaking Bad, so no. that's like her. What everyone knows her from. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I didn't watch that, so she blew. She well, blew she also away. had a failed TV show. So. Yeah, the B word in Apartment. Yeah, the the B in Apartment Twenty Three or whatever yeah. it is. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know about that. It was like a show. comedy. Yeah. Yeah, sitcom. Um, Knock off New Girl. Oh, <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, the courage that the show took with tackling issues like PTSD and mm -hmm. uh, rape. Yeah. Especially with the whole Rape was character. huge. Rape was yeah. huge in the show. Mm -hmm. And then PTSD with um, uh, Jessica Jones in the beginning, all her nightmares with uh, uh, Purple, Kill, Man. Purple Man, Kilgrave, whatever. Um, 
Luke Cage. Uh, you mean oh, Kevin. Kevin. <laughs> Kevin Kilgrave <laughs> Kevin. Perlman. <laughs> uh, Luke Cage. This could have easily been a Jessica Jones and Luke Cage Netflix show, but yeah. they kept Luke Cage aside and made the focus. They brought Jessica him in Jones. at the right moments. Right. Yeah. So, um, are we getting this very specific? Yeah, on we can. Positives? We can spoil anything. Yeah. I mean, uh, Kilgrave. How incredible of a character was he? He's um, a phenomenal character. I don't even want to say he's a villain. He's, he's just deep. A phenomenal he's got he's got multiple layers. Oh, there multiple were, layers. There were a couple times when you kind of felt a little sympathy for him. Yeah, you know? definitely. That, During, I, they, and they knew what they were doing with that. That too. torture moment where he's like just you know inside the glass and they bring his parents in there and he's just like. Well, yeah, even, that episode was crazy. Even as an adult, like that scene oh, though, when, the scene where he's inside the, the the bubble or the glass container or whatever. With his parents. That scene was like I I knew it was coming, but I still couldn't like it shocked me, even though I knew it was coming. This show to me had horror elements to it. It was scary oh. to watch at sometimes. It really was. When she's walking down the the hotel hallway and the the alarm lights are going and then they flash purple every now and then, and she's like. Is he in there? Is he well, in the there? Well, you get that from the very first episode when Hope killed her parents oh. in the elevator. Yeah. Like his abilities Like, did you are see that coming? No. I didn't see that she coming at all. I, look. From that first episode, you're hooked. From that moment, you are hooked. <laughs> and then, uh, and like you were saying, horror moments, when he makes those, the four hang themselves. Oh, yeah. Take a step forward. Yeah. And, and she has to, she has to come, and she, <laughs> she gives away Hope mm -hmm. to do that, but like, it is scary at times. Like there it, are it definitely more elements. elements. Yeah, yeah. And the last thing I'll mention, uh, like you said, or you said, uh, Carrie Ann Moss. She was and, great. She uh, was really good. Uh, for those of you who don't know, she was uh, Trinity. Trinity in the Matrix. <laughs> she looked like she has. It even took aged. me a minute to realize <laughs> that was her. Honestly, Trinity. she's been a superhero, man. I know. Yeah, she was excellent. You know, uh, she has a bit of dark side to her, so I can't wait to see how that plays out. That scene though with her ex-wife. Where you die by a thousand cuts. A thousand cuts. Amazing. Oh my cutting. god. And she does this with her hand. And dude, it's like, oh, They dude. turned what I was like. When they first introduced like the love triangle between them. Mm -hmm. Like the her and her wife. And then. Because at first she's with her wife. Yeah. She doesn't leave her li wife till like the second or third episode. Well, we see in the first episode she's already cheating. Yeah. But her how wife about, doesn't know. How yet. about that secretary though? Oh, oh man. man. She, <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> Damn. No, that moment where. But they turned, <laughs> they turned what was at first I thought was a stupid side story into such a compelling, very important part of this show. It's water. Yeah. So yeah. I, I just um, I can't believe that I ended up not liking her character, but thinking that she's a great character. Yeah. Me, but all three of them, her, her ex-wife, and her. It was secretary. a good storyline. It was a very good storyline. Like even if the. Even if they just made a show about them three, like that would be interesting. Like it's it's weird how well, I care. Well, that can't happen anymore. Oh no! Yeah, of course. How about that moment though? I didn't see that coming. When her her head went into the I, side. I thought of the I thought she table? just knocked her out, and then they showed the white shot, and she's like cut in half. Yeah. It's like her Jesus. head went into the side of the yeah. table. Oh my god! Insane. Crazy. Uh, that's it for my positives. Well, speaking of that, I, I mean, this isn't my first positive, but this is one of my fathers. The violence and the gore. Like, sometimes violence and gore is used unnecessarily, like, just for visuals, but I felt like it all served the story. Like, the the dude, what's, I forget the brother's name, the the brother who slit his throat, oh, killed uh, him, made him slit uh, his throat. Uh, Ruben. 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 Yeah. Ruben. That, that guy, man, I, his, that moment, dude. His throat was, like, deeply cut, and, like, they showed it, and, like, they, the her head uh, in the side of the table, there's so many great gore violent moments and it, it 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 fit in with the tone of the show and that's what i'm going to start with is my positive is the tone and the feel and like it's it's like a noir detective show yes. and the music like jake i know you don't like sin city but it had that feel of sin city like the visuals and like the way how she's talking over and like like this is what i do like and she's talking over and telling you her story narrating yeah. i love that and it it's it's such a like true to like the noir detective type movie or show and i i really dug that it's it it goes to show like that the thing marvel's doing with different genres for every episode like every different property they they're do. they are uh revolutionizing storytelling not just storytelling but like like cinema in general yeah like what they are doing uh movies and now netflix it's like it's a whole new world like, think about this 
this Jessica Jones show is in the same world as Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> yeah. Like that they is- they accomplished that and made it believable. So that's just crazy. Um, just the cast, the the core cast is incredible. Mm. Kristen Ritter as Jessica Jones is amazing. I have a huge new crush. Uh, what's her name? Uh, Trish. Trish. Um, yeah. Rachel Taylor. Do you know who she is? Um, she was in Transformers. Yep. Transformers. Movies. I've had a crush on her ever since. Dude, Dude. which one? She is uh, like the tech girl, right? She's the tech girl the from the original. One? Oh, the I Australian. She had a TV show. Uh, it's called uh, Not Six 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 Park Avenue that got canceled. Oh, really? Was she the star? She was. Of it? A, she was the lead in that. Well, first of all, let me just say she's a great actress. You know who, she, who the character is, right? Hellcat. Yeah. She becomes Hellcat. Hell yeah, yeah. dude. Um, Hell yeah, Hellcat. Hell yeah. <laughs> um, she's she's a great actress. Great char- Trish is a great character. Like perfect, she's a great counter to Jessica Jones. Exactly. Great she's counter. Perfect mm-hmm. counter to Jessica Jones. Um, I love. Like I believe. Like when you first meet her, you, you think she's gonna be like the damsel in distress, but then they show her like training and Kicking stuff. Kicking the shit like, out of her trainer. <laughs> and I believed it. Like, and it made sense why because. She grew up knowing Jessica, who has these powers who can defend herself, and she's wondering, what if I get into a situation myself where I can't defend myself? I have to protect myself. And it was really great how they handled her character and their background. And one of the flashbacks when they're adults, I love the little, uh, like, the comic book references because in the comics, Jessica Jones is, uh, Jewel. is Jewel, and she holds up the costume. Yeah. And she's like, Jewel's a stupid name. And, <laughs> yeah. and in the comics, uh, Trish Walker's character, Patsy, she's obsessed with becoming a superhero before she becomes a superhero. She's like obsessed with it. And you see that in the show. Yeah. And I love how they tie that back into the comics. And I know comic book adaptations don't have to be completely true, but they stick true to a lot of like Jessica Jones' origin. She was in a car accident. Yep. Luke Cage's origin, it was an experiment gone wrong. So yep. like, it not directly, but they stuck to like the main core elements to their origin stories which was pretty cool which i really liked um and just Killgrave, man i don't want to say he's the best mcu villain i think that's loki's title always but it's hard to compare them like i don't know if i like wilson fisk or Killgrave better do you guys i actually uh, i would prefer fist because that guy's straight know. psychotic uh, i don't know uh, and Kilgrave isn't psychotic. Well, Kilgrave is, but um, we were talking this before the show. On it's he almost like he is a he's fascinating. He's dark. He's violent. He'll do anything to get what he wants. Like he doesn't care what pe- he'll put people through. But he almost came off as a little baby to me. Yeah. I'll get to that a little bit well, later we'll, on. We'll talk about but that. But just yeah, Kilgrave's because Kilgrave does have negatives. Trust me. But as far as his positives, I love that his motivation. It's Jessica Jones. He loves. He really does love her. Like he really wants to be with her, and it's because he already knew that he couldn't control her. So it's the one person that he can't make love him. The one person. And can you imagine that? Like that's the only thing he can't have in the world, and that's the one thing you're gonna want the most is the thing you can't have. And that's so compelling to me. And you want to talk about feeling sorry for a villain? He was actually starting to, you know, go down the path of trying to be a hero. Well, he'll do anything for her. It doesn't matter what it is. Even if it's doing good, he'll do it for her. And what did she do? She poisoned him or, you know, and then trapped him. him Almost made her the villain for that episode, kind of. It was like, wow, he was really trying. Just, and he's so deep and like, he has so many layers to him. And you feel, like you said, Joe, at moments you feel for him. There's a scene when he's telling her, like... He looks like he's about to cry, and he's saying... He tells her what happened to him. Yeah, but also, just, he's explaining his powers and how, like, he's, he says, I never know when someone's just having a genuine, like, conversation with me, or, like, if someone does something, like, for real, I never know. Like, and that's, he never have a real relationship with anybody, because any, he has to watch what he says, like... Like he, like he said, he said, I told the guy to go screw himself, not literally. And he's like, can you imagine? <laughs> like, that must be so hard. Like his powers are a curse, a yeah. gift and a curse. So he had an Obi-Wan just, moment too. Oh, he even says, but cool. Obi-Wan, but cooler. Yeah. Um, I could go, I could talk this whole podcast about Kilgrave, but I just, I think he's a phenomenal villain. Um, I, I, I really like just a character on its own. He's great. And yeah. I, it sucks we're never going to see him again because 
she kills him at the end, which I love. It's, great, it's, it's a great moment because she had to see him die, and the way she did it, like, there's no way you can come back from that. Yeah. Like, she, she, she didn't just, like, neck. break his... She shattered her yeah. his neck. And like, destroyed him. I'm glad that she killed him because by, the, by that time, you, like, F this guy. You want him to die. Like, you want him to die. And I feel like we got enough of him to where, like, all right, that story's over now. It's fine. We can go back and watch the series again if we want to see him again. Yeah. But his story ended, and I'm, I was okay with that. Um, he's not a Wilson, Wilson Fisk. He's not, he's not that kind of character. Well, yeah. who's going to stay Wilson around Fisk for Wilson Fisk is not going to die. Yeah. As long he's, as Daredevil's alive, Wilson Fisk is He's alive. just not that type of character. And Jessica yeah. Jones doesn't really have that kind of arch nemesis that Daredevil has. So well, I mean, we'll see many. We'll see a lot of adversaries that she'll go up against but she doesn't really have that core villain like a thor has a loki well, like, or a daredevil has Kilgrave a was her nemesis but not as but not as dead. like big not as yeah. like well big i'm as not those. saying in the comics but in this show yeah oh yes yes in this show yes. that's her nemesis yes but she she wins she finally kills him um uh, without not without losing a lot but um and just i like the way they wrapped everything up because it doesn't the story doesn't end necessarily it's just this story ends and now we're gonna see her again in luke cage or in the defenders um, I love that like she's talking about like I don't know if I'm a hero maybe I'll try it out and then she she checks her voicemails and all these people are asking her for help it it was like a good I, it was a good like metaphor like she, of her like becoming one of the a hero. one of the best moments for me is like uh, they're talking towards the end of the series I think it's I think it's after she had killed Kilgrave uh, Trish like her and Trish are talking and she says I was never the hero that you wanted me to be she goes you were always the hero I wanted you to be like that moment hit me so hard because of everything that just happened. Yeah. Uh, and that's like, it's just so telling about where the character's going and where the story's and just like going. The way they're in her apartment and then the camera's panning out and then Malcolm answers her phone. And I love Malcolm's character. I mean, I know we didn't really talk about him that much, but they made small characters matter. Like you, at first you're like, who is Malcolm? Like, why does he matter? But he was a, he's a huge part of this and he kind of ground, like he's, he grounds her in a way like he makes her human he's her voice of reason now mm -hmm. like he's gonna be the one to tell her what's what not to do like what's right and wrong so and even just like little characters like you know like hogarth's wife like all those characters were important they all served a purpose so i love the way they handle that and i love when he answers her phone and like that just foreshadowing what we're gonna well see i'll, I'll throw in uh the very beginning of the series very opening when we see her throw the dude through the glass yeah and she says then there's still the matter of your bill yeah every jessica jones comics that's how it opens oh really yeah are you serious it was such a good moment like as soon as the first moment of the tv show comic of the fans are like that's okay so this awesome. is awesome like this is it all right well we all love this show but nothing is perfect at all so um let's get into some negatives i think i'm gonna start with geo uh, he usually has negatives to say the about negative everything. king yeah the, negative, right the pessimist, Mr. Mr. The pessimist. Right um, <laughs> no th there are some things that could have done been done better with this show and what are those things from the perspective geo um if this show really wanted to make a connection between uh jessica jones and daredevil they could have done it a little bit better than forcing claire temple into the last episode essentially pretty much taking over like I mean, the, the episodes are like 50 minutes long. She might have had like 25 minutes of screen time on there. It's like, okay, is this a, is this last episode really dedicated to Jessica Jones and Kilgrave? Uh, or is it like more concerned about establishing uh, a connection between Daredevil and Jessica Jones? I understand that this show wants to be a standalone Jessica Jones' story. That's great, but you also got to consider that this is a part... This is in Hell's Kitchen, which yeah, is it's in also, the same city. It's, it's not in the same city, like in the same country. It's in the same city, and and they picked a storyline that was containable enough, you know, where it's just well, it makes sense. It's really personal. She, it's not like Wilson. Right, Fisk, it makes yeah. sure because she's a nurse and she was at the hospital. No, I understand like, that. I, I know the thing is, if they want to make make a connection, they could have done it better than just dedicating a majority of the last episode to just yeah. No, I. Yeah. They could have introduced her earlier. Earlier, yeah. you know, something else, you know. But it felt like that last episode was like, okay, we need to involve Daredevil. Well, you let's, know how you said you thought Matt Murdock was going to show up? How many, a few times, Jessica says, I need a lawyer. How many times did you think she's going to go to Matt Murdock? I honestly thought uh, Murdock was going to fight for uh, Hope. Oh, 
you know, uh, the, once uh, what's her Hogarth. name? Hogarth, you know, went off the rails. I thought Matt Murdock was going to come in. I kind of wish that uh, Foggy Nelson would have came in. Or at some Foggy. Point. I think it would have been cool to just see him for like an episode or so. Well, right. what if even like Foggy's Foggy's girl? Like, what if, even if she came? I love in, her. If she came and defended Hope, that would have been a lot more interesting than than what Nightmare's showing up in the right. last episode. Yeah. Um, I thought Hogarth's plot got a little bit out of a hand. I mean, she... Uh, turned... Was this after or before the events of her ex-wife? The death by the house Or just cuts. the whole thing? Just the whole thing. Oh, I mean, like, uh, the moment she sided with Kilgrave. So it was before? Yeah. So the, the episode before when they're in the... When the, he gets the, free. The containment, yeah. Okay. And the okay. free. It's like, okay, like, she's not... I understand that, you know, time is of the essence, but... I mean, come on. How like, about her really? taking the fetus? You're going to... What? How about her taking the fetus from She's Hope? She's dirty, man. She has a little crazy. bit of dark side to her. It's crazy. Dirty. She does. but well, I, She I, puts her own needs first. Mm-hmm. She becomes... Uh, doesn't make her a villain, but... I don't know. I mean, because... And then she becomes a, an accessory to her ex-wife's murder. And then all of a sudden, she's back on duty. And it's like, okay. But that, nobody wasn't that, she was getting cut up, though. Yeah, wouldn't that be self-defense? Her wife was trying to kill That's her. right, yeah. It, it would, would be, be self-defense. Defense. Okay, so that, that takes care of that. That other which... girl should be free, too. I don't know why. She's still locked up, as far as we know. She wanted a different lawyer. Maybe oh, she gets Matt Murdock. Yeah, maybe, yeah. yeah. Maybe she, maybe she gets Matt Murdock. <laughs> maybe she's in season two of Daredevil. Maybe she's the very opening lawyer scene. That would, that would be sense. crazy. That would be cool. Cool How, what if it, That'd be a great tie-in. The very first scene of Daredevil season two. Is them defending her? Yeah. That would be awesome. Yeah. That'd be pretty good. That'd be good. Anyway, go ahead. Um, and then there's just a couple side characters I had issues with. Um, Officer Simpson. Pretty much, Nuke! Pretty much everything. Um, so he comes in, he tries to kill Jessica Jones, and uh, a family fails. He learns about Kilgrave, tries to kill Kilgrave on his own, fails. And then he gets drugged up. He tries to kill Jessica Jones again, fails, and then in between he has this fling with Trish, someone lucky else bastard. he tried to try to kill. A lucky guy. It's like, I don't know. Like every time, I did not buy it. All right, like okay, Trish, the guy killed, tried to kill you. The next day, you're sleeping with him. I'm like what? Like I don't know. Am I alone? Or Maybe you, she liked the do you guys the like- idea of sleeping with her possible murderer. Yeah, some people like that stuff, but I think well, she she's known who Kilgrave is for a long time now, and she knows his powers. So she, I think it's easier to forgive him knowing that she knows what Kilgrave can do. So Maybe. I think that's what it was. And he was like, "Look, I did not like his character when we. F- oh no, I like I didn't really have an opinion of him when you first meet him because he's he's brainwashed. But um, when he when he apologizes to her for like those first two episodes, he's I sincere. liked him. He's I liked him. But when he started like losing, when he, he started off losing his mind, I was like, I can't. Well, as soon as as soon as he told, it was the moment. As soon as he told Trish that there was no Kilgrave, but he was there at the house. Mm-hmm. That's when he kind of started taking a twist. Like yeah. he went off on his own and everything like that. Got I his buddies and. Yeah, I liked him when he was like working with them and getting along with them. But then when he started like, like doing stuff on his own, I, I didn't like his character. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. I just. Something about his character just wasn't right with me. It didn't sit right. I felt like his character was only there to introduce that uh, corporation that was there. What's what's it? I forget the corporate. IGH. IGH. I, there you go. Then that's they have to do with Jessica Jones' yeah. possible killing of fa- family killing. Yeah. Or or her getting her powers. I should say. Yeah. And then real quick, I want to talk about the red the redhead possessive sister, um, Ruben's sister. <sighs> Jesus. Oh my god, you want to talk about a one note character? Like, she, every time, every time she's on screen, she's always just like pouting. I disagree with you. I did not like her character. I don't think she's one note at all. I think she actually has a she lot of She had depth. one moment. She had one moment for me. She's where, talking to Malcolm, right? Where, yeah, yeah. W- with her brother, mm-hmm. you know, like she's finally showing some emotion to her character. But even after that, she hits Jessica don't get me Jones. Wrong. Over I hated the, her at with first. the two by four. And she goes back to No, that was before deaths. that. That was before her and Malcolm. Okay, were well, well, even after that. Like she's she's back to that being that that stubborn, you know, like poor outlook on life. Tells Malcolm, like, you're wasting your time. I don't know why you're waiting here with all the, the group and everything, and just runs off. And I hope she doesn't return. I'm sorry. <laughs> I she, think I, she I will. Just, 
I and just, Jessica Jones season two. I just don't sit. I, she just doesn't sit well with me. I don't. I, annoying. Can I talk a little bit about her a yeah, little? Go ahead, just yeah. I look when I first meet her. Obviously, she's annoying is and doing some weird stuff with her brother. But um, yeah, I <laughs> like I was talking about how they made small characters have a purpose and be important. And I think they did that with her. And I, by the end of the series, I actually thought she was a pretty compelling character. And I thought she was funny. Like she when when she was like. She was telling Malcolm, like, I get it, you're into me, the romantic outlook, it's working, but, like, I thought she's funny, like, and, well, I mean, she's not the best character, but I, I didn't hate her character by the end of the series. I felt like her character was there just to give Kilgrave another reason to, you know, get close, you know, without well, her acting up. I feel like scene in the restaurant Jessica Jones's happen. apartment complex was just to show us how shitty it is in in uh, Hell's Kitchen, in Hell's Kitchen. Yeah. or how dislikable Jessica Jones is. Yeah, that someone like that hates her. So, yeah, yeah. that's it. Those are all your negatives. Yeah. Um, I so one of my like, while I love Kilgrave, I think he's a great villain. I, there was a lot of things that I disliked about him. He was so whiny and so, like you said, Jake, he's Could a not whiny agree with baby. You more. He's a whiny baby, and I don't look at it as a flaw in the show. Because they did it on purpose. They made him whiny on purpose. They wanted you to hate him. And uh, even though they wanted you to feel for him a little bit, understand his point of view, they wanted you to hate him, and they made you hate him because he was so whiny, he was so annoying, he was so spoiled. He can literally have anything he wants in the world except Jessica Jones, and he's a, that's the only reason that, that he his motive... While his motive is a huge positive for me, it's, it's almost a flaw too because... At some point, you know, you would just, all right, F it. I can go live in Europe and have anything I want. So he was, like, 10% of his screen time was a negative to me. And then also Simpson, I just, there was parts of his character I liked when he was first introduced. But then when he starts when he starts losing his mind and they introduce that organization, I thought there was too much going on at the end with that organization. They kind of shoehorned that in out of nowhere, mm. the IGH organization. Like, they didn't even mention any, like, foreshadows of that. It just came out of nowhere. He's an officer, then he's a spec op. Now yeah, he's... and now he's involved in some, like, some crazy, like, corporation. So I thought that was a little forced. Um, and I don't really, like, why, why couldn't Jessica Jones just have crashed into a truck that had some stuff in it and she got her powers, her family died? Like, why does it have to be a bigger issue. It reminds me of like Amazing Spider-Man 2 how the parents were dead and then like the, but it had to do with the because secret now, organization. Well like, now it's setting up season 2 that's why. Like what mission her and Trish are going to go on. Mm -hmm. But I don't feel like they needed to set up season 2 like I feel like they should have focused more on ending this story so that I, I really don't have a lot of negatives like that's pretty much it for me. Right. Well for I'm, I'm going to piggyback off your Kilgrave thing I've there were moments where I just, I could not stand him. Like, he was a great villain. Like, he's he's violent and he's psychotic and all that kind of stuff. But he's definitely a whiny baby at times. Um, I'll even disagree to say that uh, his motive was kind of annoying. Like, I don't know if I if I enjoyed or hated the fact that his motive was behind that he well, loved Jessica it. Jones. Every, every villain wants to take over the world, take over the universe, take over the galaxy, take over the city. Well, I'm not saying take over it. I'm saying he's... I'm just saying, like, this was very different. Like... No, I, I agree with you, but... He's in I, love with her. But I, I, like, we've seen it before, though. Like, and I think I would have much rather seen, like, him doing this because he did love her, but he also... That she also broke his heart and, and he, he has to, like, her. prove himself instead of just loving her. Yeah. Like, I don't know if I buy that all the way. I mean, it didn't take away from the show at all. Like, he's still a great guy. Oh, I get what you're or saying, Or a great though. character, not a great guy. Great character. <laughs> he's, a good, um, he's a pretty good guy. He's not a great guy. <laughs> no, not he's a great a guy. guy. Yeah. Um, but this might be a little bit of a shocker, too, to you guys. But there were moments where I didn't buy Kristen Ritter as Jessica Jones through the okay. series. Really? Yeah. Like, there were moments where I'm like, I don't know if I see this. Ex I mean, she... She did a, a phenomenal job, like a great job as her first starring role. She took on a very deep character, um, very dark, all that kind of stuff. But there were just moments where I just didn't buy her as someone, I don't want to say with powers, but like just this kind of character, I guess, like this otherworldly character per se. Can I give one guess of which part? Is it when she's uh, going bananas against the couple that tried to kill her? 
Which one? Wait, what? We'll say that again. Remember when uh, she goes to investigate that the husband's cheating on the wife? The wife ends up there pointing a pistol at her. Uh, no, it was not that moment. Okay. I don't know. No, it was not that moment okay. though. Um, I'm confusing the hell out of you. No, you're good. You're good. Uh, <laughs> I know what you're talking about, but yeah, it. It's, I don't know why, but it's. It just. She did. It. She did a great job, and I. I am excited that she's. That she is Jessica Jones, but she was not my first choice. So is that like her acting that? Fell no, short? it just. I think it's just the the look and yeah. Maybe it does have to do part with the way she does act. I yeah. don't know. I can't really pinpoint it. I think I have to go back and watch to really find out why. After watching the entire thing, she did a great job. Like there's, I can't deny that. Yeah. I give her all the credit in the world. Um, she took on a very deep character in an incredibly deep show and succeeded. Uh, and it's very exciting. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing her season two. Like, I'll, I'll tell you that. Because she's totally opposite for someone like Chish Walker. And, it ha and it, that's what it needed. Um, but it, it's not a huge negative because I, I still like her as the character. But there were just moments where I'm like, I don't know if I buy it. Um, Makes sense. I mean, and I'll, again, like you guys said, Simpson was after he did that moment with Kilgrave where he saw Kilgrave. He didn't tell Trish Walker he went on his own. It kind of just took a wild turn after that. Mm -hmm. Um, it didn't really fit. I know what they were trying to do because they needed to tell this story and introduce the 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 pills and um, the nuke character per se, uh, but it just didn't work that well. Um, I'm gonna go with Geo and say the sister was kind of annoying. I I don't deny that she's annoying. yeah. I don't think she. I mean, I get what they were trying to do, but I don't I don't think she fit. Um, I thought Ruben was the much better character. Um, and it sucks that he died. Like, that was heartbreaking to see. <laughs> like, that moment where he's laying on the bed. Yeah, that sucks. Um, I mean, there there weren't really a, a ton of negatives. I mean, the show is... It's a Solid. really, really good show. Yeah. Uh, Mar Marvel and Netflix did a fantastic job. Um, and there's very... It's it's very exciting to see these characters go on. I'm lucky... To, or we're lucky that it's not just a one-off. Well, they did it again. They told a contained story in their large universe. Well, that... And also, again, I mean... The personal, like the personal side of it, it's fantastic. Like it's so good that it's. It might be like the most personal thing. Like we ever thought, Ant Man was personal, but this was like. Or like even like Winter Soldier's personal. personal. Like this was with like within blocks of each other. Exactly. Personal. Like this is like a tiny story. I love that. And they did a fantastic job of telling it over thirteen hours, and just like Daredevil, it's it's a ten hour movie. Like you can put these on for thirteen hours straight, and it's a beautiful. And it all goes beautiful. together. Yeah, like, like it's it's like gorgeous. You can watch the scene where the episode ends and like without credits just go to the next scene in the next episode and wouldn't even seem like you're skipping anything yeah it's i have one like more huge positive that i forgot to mention but we kind of touched on it but i love the romance between jessica jones and luke cage because i normally don't like romance in superhero movies like unless it really works but it's the fact that they both have gone their whole lives not knowing anyone else like like themselves and they finally found somebody like them and like how like how perfect are they for each other and they bang it out exactly and like oh, yeah. you see the they don't know they have powers when they first have sex and they're both like yeah. being rough well, with each that, other and they're both like what it's when they say he goes i'll break you she goes no you won't yeah and they both kind of realize it yeah you know? and then after that it's just like chaos they break beds and they're breaking walls it's like i love their sex scenes they're like, well that they're it's, so that's rough. another great positive because superheroes have sex well it's like, a it's <laughs> it's not just that it's that Marvel, that's what we're saying earlier that they, they're revolutionizing what these yeah. movies are doing. They're showing this like other side of superheroes that we've never seen before. Exactly. Because they're real people too. Yeah, and, mm -hmm. and like these properties, they don't go that far. And Netflix has done a fantastic job of doing this and telling these stories with this kind of personal side to it. Um, it's amazing. That doesn't fit in Daredevil because that's, that, that's not what Daredevil does. But the character of Jessica Jones, well, that's exactly that. mm -hmm. what the character of Jessica well, Jones is. Scene, they show her taking pictures of people having sex like yeah and they let you know right from the get-go like this is a totally different story yeah 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 so and yeah i wouldn't fit in daredevil so do you guys have any more positives or negatives or any any final thoughts on just no Jones? i mean it's it sucks that it's over i mean we have to wait i know and we watch it, it so sucks. fast it's it's kind of i think i'm gonna go buy, watch daredevil again that's right i, I watch, was planning on doing watch yeah Jessica i mean Jones right after um yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing where they go. So I, I think it's it the they're building like articles or something. Yeah. They're they're building this great world uh, within Netflix, and they're doing even if it was just the TV universe, it would be amazing. Well, stuff. we were when they first announced this, we're like, 
Daredevil, okay, yeah, that's awesome. But Luke Cage, Jessica that fits. Jones. Iron Fist, okay. Jessica Jones, yeah, dot, dot, dot. I, well, I, didn't, I had no idea what to expect. It's like, okay, but they. she was right after Daredevil, one of the greatest TV shows to hit in the last few years. Uh, they knocked out of that park. We're like, okay, what has Jessica Jones got? You know, it's very different. But, you know, just as Marvel does, usually they, they killed it. They backed it up, and yeah. it's fantastic. On to that see. note, I don't know which series I like better. And it's, I'm, I'm a, I'm, I like Daredevil personally. That's that's me. I, look, I just finished the series yesterday. I can't really decide, but right now, if I had to choose, I think I like Jessica Jones better. Honestly. It's no, it's, more, it's worth it. Like I would, I could not it. wait to start the next episode with Daredevil. I really liked it, and I was like, I really wanted to watch the next episode. See, I was, I was Jessica Jones. Hooked. I had to start the next episode. I was right hooked away. on Daredevil. Like I could, yeah. I, I could watch those those episodes over and no, over. I'm gonna rewatch it soon because I'm stuck in that world of Hell's Kitchen, and I want to go back. So. It's exciting to see. Now we're going to see Luke Cage next, and he jumps to well, what we think is going to be Harlem and hopefully see his character and maybe even see Jessica Jones pop up a little bit. Luke Cage. I'm excited for the Luke Cage series. I don't know where they're going to go. They, after, well, they, they did a great job. Of, I didn't say this in my positive, but they did a great job of introducing him oh, yeah. and like what he does. Like That scene in the bar when they first see each other fighting, and he's just like with one arm. And when the guy tries to cut his neck with the, yeah, with it's, the bottle. It's, it's a, they did a great job of introducing who and he is. Like, and like rugby players yeah so he's very exciting to see for sure yeah i i think i'm more excited for the iron fist series though because i i really like the character of iron fist well that world yeah the mythology it. behind it is really cool and they like we had talked before and but uh hogarth is his lawyer yeah so they, they already teased him mm -hmm. so maybe that's the way maybe she's gonna be a yeah. main character in that series we'll see yeah so that would be cool well i'm excited for the punisher i don't know about you guys oh yeah well yeah that's an obvious one i mean yeah <laughs> especially daredevil especially in a world two. of daredevil like that so mm -hmm. i hope he's on the defenders when they do the defender series i don't think he will or be. at least comes and helps them a few episodes you don't think so i don't know it depends on where he goes because he's basically playing an antagonist in That's, season no, two of course so it depends on like how how far they take his character and where the relationship goes by the end but i mean i don't i i see him there at some point the I problem think is in the that, long run they're, they're going to be allies problem though. is that daredevil uh they're like they're opposite like i know daredevil well, that's why they're gonna fight because punisher punisher's a straight anyone. killer yeah, yeah he's a straight killer so uh he might have to change his ways before he's able to join well, i think kind of team i think it'll be that, no I'm, i think that'll happen, i'm i'm yeah. excited like that's bringing the punisher to a netflix it'll show is like, so perfect it'll be like flash and captain cold how even though it's very different well, just like how the flash fact has that, to convince captain cold to like not kill and i know we're getting did, off topic of jessica jones but the fact that you know when they cast punisher like okay how far can they take this because punisher is so brutal and violent but we see it in jessica jones now mm -hmm. we know how far well, they can Daredevil take it was pretty violent too. but not, not like violent, jessica jones not even close to so jessica now we jones. know how far they can take it oh. which should really give you confidence into how far they can take this character of the Punisher. So look out for that in season two. No, they did sure. everything except drop an F bomb and show straight nudity. Yeah. You know, so yeah. they, th those are the limits. Like they can go as far as they want other yeah. than that. Yeah, so. Disney's like, a, hold off, guys. Yeah. All right. ABC <laughs> Studios <laughs> makes it. All right, well, that's going to do it for our review of Jessica Jones, our spoilers discussion. As you can tell, we all really enjoyed the show. I highly recommend it. I mean, you don't necessarily have to watch Daredevil first. You don't, but if you want to follow the story... You don't have to watch... No, because there's no... It, you don't even have to have seen any of the Marvel movies no. or anything. You can just watch it as a show on its own and still enjoy it. But I, I would recommend watching Daredevil and then watch Jessica Jones. And I would also recommend um, watching one episode a day. Do not binge it because you want to save as much as possible for yeah. as long as possible. Like we did. Now it's over. <laughs> now we have nothing to look I'd go, forward I'd to. I'd watch it. like an episode of Daredevil, then an episode of Jessica Jones, if you haven't seen either of them. Like one each day. That would be cool. Spread it out over like, do that. over like 30 days or something. Yeah. I think it's perfect. Yeah, cool. Just in time for Star Wars. All right. Well, <laughs> again, I was, I'm your host, Jacob Bartley. You can find me on Twitter at Governor Bartley. Um, Jake, where can they find you online? Uh, Twitter, Instagram at Qui-Gon Jake. You can find us at Facebook at Apocalypse Movies. And uh, make sure to check out our all-Star Wars podcast, the Padawan podcast. Uh, heading into The Force Awakens here pretty soon, so we're doing some oh, good yeah. stuff over on the Padawan. <laughs> Gio? Uh, Twitter at George Romano 24 and on movie, uh, Apocalypse Movies. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> again, again. Oh, God. ApocalypseMovies.com. Please check out our site, and please subscribe to this YouTube channel. We'd really appreciate it. Thank you all for listening. We'll see you next time.